This is Kyle Spishak with Pounding the Rock here with NBA legend George Gervin. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Today is all about reading and uh, and, and letting our kids know reading is, is, is fun and uh, it's just something that you got to do. We're in eight different schools around the community today. Everybody that works for the Spurs and Sports and Entertainment are out reading to the kids. You know, we're going to make sure they get four books to take home the day. I've been here in San Antonio for 40 years. I mean, and I, I am a former Spur, and this community has supported me, and now I got an opportunity to create different programs and to be able to have a positive impact on young people's lives, and I still work in the front office with the Spurs, so this is my family, and this is what we want to do for this community, and it's fun, and it's, it's good to see the, the smiles on the kids' faces that they enjoy reading. A couple days ago, you had the Iceman night. What did that mean to you that everyone uh, still loves you here? Uh, you're still an important member of this community. How, how did that night feel for you? Man, that was great, man. You know, it brings tears to your eyes, man, because, you know, uh, it's good to be loved, you know, and to have the organization um, be able to create a night for me, um, you know, that's kind of like unheard of. That just kind of show you how special that organization is, man. The San Antonio Spurs is special to me. I'm a, I am a part of their family, and they don't do nothing but show me love, man. So um, I appreciate it. special experience I think to be able to um, you know, see the fans and how excited they get and, and the oh, smiles okay. that you know we're able to put on their face you know, for a small moment it, it can last a lifetime so it's pretty special. A lot of positivity and everything is that kind of why you all are undefeated at home this strong community and the strong support for you? Oh there's no question that the support from the community and beyond I think is is uh, one of the reasons why you know, we've been successful this season um, and it's not just only in San Antonio, it's, it's on the road as well when we go and play and, and we see all the Spurs fans uh, in the opposition arena, it's something that, that's really cool to see. Um, so we, it, it's the ongoing support I think for, from everyone that motivates us and uh, keeps us you know, pushing through such a long season. Oh man, just come out here to you know get some interaction with the fans. Uh, you know these people show so much support throughout the season, so I think it's only right we you know spend a few hours out of our day to come meet them and uh, talk to them and you know get to know them a little bit. So I'm enjoying it. They, they show their love for us, you know, for the game, but for them to actually take their time out and come here and uh, just want to meet me and uh, come to Wingstop and have some fun, you know, that, that means a lot to me, really. <laughs> Big game against Golden State coming up. How are you all preparing for it after the last time? What is Pop been telling you? all to prepare you for it mentally yeah we're just gonna do the same thing we've been doing um, you know get ready uh, play our game play defense uh, and, and go from there really you know don't change anything or do anything different just want to play our game awesome best of luck to you thank you I'm just blessed to be here and, you know show my face in front of these guys like I said and, uh, be able to give them a sense of uh, enjoyment for the few hours I'm here you know, their faces and just remembering back when I was young with my friends playing video games and, you know, just looking at the players on the court and just wanting to be just like them. I'm over there playing a the game with them and they're just excited, uh, not even knowing how to play the game, but just happy that I'm right next to them and just talking to them. You can now have the taste of France here at the Alamo City. Kyle Spishak here at the park. We're about to go check out the creme de la creme food truck, Tony Parker's personal chef's creation. Let's go talk to him and see what he has to say about it. That's good. We're pretty excited to, you know, to, to open up. Uh, it's a nice uh, new challenge for us. So yeah, um, excited to bring this food to San Antonio. Right now we have a steak and fries. That seems to be a good popular one right now. And crepes, of course, those are selling. We have the croque monsieur, which is like a French ham and cheese sandwich, uh, salmon scallopini. That's uh, doing really well. I mean, I worked in, the, in a restaurant for a couple years as a line cook, um, and then from then I had the opportunity to, uh, to cook for Tony. And then, I mean, once I had the opportunity to cook for him, he kind of saw my work ethic, and then he asked me if I wanted to be employed by him. Uh, I didn't have any school, so he offered to send me to France and learn, and he pretty much built me uh, to be a chef. So, you know, it, it was a good uh, opportunity. Jonathan, there's a big turnout for you today. How does it feel that all these people are here for you? Um surprising and just humbling just to and it's crazy like I text my mom today just a little feedback I was getting on Twitter and stuff and just crazy. There's a lot of signings today uh, are your hands sore not just from the signings but from the block on LeBron last uh, night? 
Well, actually, it was, I'm left-handed, so unfortunately the the block was with my right hand. Right. So yeah, some more soreness on my left hand today. Okay, big game against Orlando Magic tomorrow night. Uh, how are you all preparing for it? Uh, every game's a big game. We prepare the same and you know do what we do. Thank you, it's, it's, it's been obviously a little bit of a whirlwind for you, especially this year coming into the league and, and stepping into an awfully big role with these Spurs. When you kind of see where you come from and stuff like this, how big is something like today, 250 people, there's still more waiting outside to see you. What's that like for you? Um, it's big. You know, it just shows a lot. And it's really, I'm really speechless, you know. It's just humbling mm-hmm. and just enjoying the ride. You were not somebody who was coveted out of college. So what would you tell a lot of these the young kids that are coming up and stuff like this? It's like hard work pays off. And just believe in your game. Put your confidence into your work ability and anything is possible if you believe. And with Orlando tomorrow night, it was just like you guys, obviously you rebounded well against Golden State. Going to have to rebound against after a tough loss last night. It was like, what are going to be the keys to stopping them? Um... I think just getting back to playing team basketball, playing the Spurs way. I think our defense has been fine. I think it's just playing the Spurs way, basically. Thank you, sir.